Okay, Mendocino County Board of Supervisors back in regular session. Nothing to report out of closed session. Um, we'll move to pre Pledge of Allegiance. Would Mr. Winkler grace us with leading the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Thank you. Um, item number four, approval of the minutes. We have uh, four sets of minutes. Uh, has everyone had uh, opportunity to look at the minutes of January 8th, January 9th, January 14th, January 15th? What's the action of the board? Also move the approval. Okay, it's been moved to approve the four sets of minutes as a group. Do I hear a second? Seconded. Um, all those in favor, uh, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, pass five to zero. Um, and uh, a madam, matter of public comment in regards to the minutes. Uh, I have a comment card from D Dottie Copeland. Okay, all right, later on. Thank you. Um, consent calendar, uh, to the clerk, has uh, proper notice been established? Yes, we have proper notice. Okay, um, and uh, we're gonna be pulling item 5-3, uh, a uh, resolution uh, for recognizing spay and neuter month um, to the rest of the consent calendar to the board. Any items to be pulled? That will be items one through one through twenty-two is the last one submitted. Uh, with item five three to be pulled for public presentation. Do I hear uh, any discussion on pulling items or a motion to approve the consent calendar? So moved. Been moved and seconded to approve the consent calendar with the exception of item 5-3. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed. Okay. Let's move to item 5-3. Um, and uh, I'll uh, have um, Supervisor Smith address this item. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, would Mr. Winkler come forward, please, to accept this proclamation? We're glad to see you again. <laughs> this is a proclamation of the Mendocino County Board of Supervisors recognizing the month of February 2008 as spay and neuter month in Mendocino County. Whereas spaying and neutering is the method the Mendocino County Board of Supervisors prefers to prevent the birth of unwanted animals as opposed to the need to euthanize animals and is the humane approach to controlling the population of cats and dogs and the problems that result from their overpopulation. And whereas the spay neuter assistance program, SNAP, provides funds to assist low-income persons to, pay, to spay or neuter animals within their care and for spaying or neutering of feral cats. And whereas SNAP has available an educational program for school children, which provides information about humane treatment of animals. Now therefore be it resolved that the Mendocino County Board of Supervisors hereby proclaims the month of February 2008 to be spay and neuter month in Mendocino County and calls upon the citizens of Mendocino County to spay and neuter animals within their care. Be it further resolved that the Mendocino County Board of Supervisors recognizes the spay neuter assistance program for their dedication and commitment to providing these services in Mendocino County. Dated February 5th, 2008, Jim Wattenberger Chair. And this would be a motion. That is a motion. Do I hear a second for approval? It's been moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Make the presentation, Great. please. Thank you. Thank you. 
I was going to make a few comments and then I've uh, added to it because I think I have something that is important to talk about. Um, my wife, as I was just telling uh, Carmel, uh, recently had two or three visits to the doctor for a root canal and then glaucoma exams and in January had her gallbladder removed. And in spite of all these things, she and Cheryl Schrader of Anderson Valley Rescue came up with a program for spay and neuter month that you have just proclaimed. And it's to provide subsidized rates for the spay and neuter of cats for all income people. And she arranged, she and Cheryl arranged with four local vets, they got this poster to give really low discounted price to the general public for the spay and neuter of cats. And the Mendocino Animal Hospital and the Okeo Vet Center and North State Animal Hospital and Willits Pet Care, all four of those who surely represent more than half of all of veterinary operations in the county have agreed to give this discounted rate uh, to the general public. So I part want to thank them for that. Uh, but the other thing I want to illustrate is that SNAP does work with the local vets and a significant part of our funds that we raise for the general public go to vets in the county. Which leads me to what I had originally thought I would say. You know, my name is Dick Winkler and I'm the president of SNAP. Uh, we started it uh, in 1991 with three tax preparers and an attorney. Um, and since that time, we provided financial assistance for spaying or neutering over 10,000 dogs and cats in this county. And the number that the animal controls had to euthanize has gone from about 4,000 to about 1,000. That's a drop of 3,000 animals. And now I have five major points. I can show you a, a study that shows the cost of picking up an animal and holding it and euthanizing it is $58. Greg Foss years ago figured it was about $50. And if you take this $50 and multiply it by the number of animals over the 16 years we've been doing this, you are talking about a lot of money that the county saved. Um, and this, of course, is money that's provided for by the general public. Now, I was curious as where in the budget this money went, because we are talking about a lot of money. And what it has allowed you to do is the community really wants to have a no-kill shelter. And I'm sure you folks have had to deal with very vocal people who want to have a no-kill shelter. Well, the money that has been saved from spaying and neutering has gone into allowing animal control to hold the animals longer in order to find adoptable homes for those animals. So there's been kind of a trade-off mm -hmm. of the money that, that people have contributed to spay and neuter has allowed this to happen. And yet, uh, a third point is animal control still euthanized 592 unsafe animals last year. And it is an indication of how many ferals are out there because you, know, you only get in touch with some of the feral animals that are out there. And I want to raise the issue to you that these animals that are feral represent a safety issue because they do not have rabies shots and some of them are diseased. And there's a very good reason to, and we subsidize, the, the and, and Anderson Valley subsidize a spay and neuter of 